The study published in Science Advances tracks down that most of the carbon on Earth was likely conveyed from the interstellar space, the fabric that exists in space between stars in a galaxy. This probably happened well after the protoplanetary plate cooled down. The dust storm and gas that surrounded our young sun contained the structure squares of the planets, formed and heated up. Carbon was additionally likely insulated into solids within one million years of the sun's birth, which proposes that carbon is the foundation of life on Earth that endure an interstellar trip to our planet. Previously, researchers thought carbon inside the Earth came from particles that were at first present in nebula gas, which then accumulated into a rocky planet, when the gases were cool enough for the atoms to form. This examination focuses that the gas particles that convey carbon wouldn't be able to build Earth because once carbon vaporizes, it doesn't condense back into solid. It expects that in the formation of the Sun, the entirety of the planet's components got vaporized. Some of these gases consolidated and provided compound fixings to strong bodies. But that doesn't work for carbon. A lot of carbon was conveyed to the plate in the form of natural atoms. Nonetheless, when carbon disintegrates, it produces undeniably more unpredictable species that need extremely low temperatures to make solids. Earth's carbon was likely acquired straightforwardly from the interstellar space, evading vaporization totally. To all the more likely see how Earth obtained its carbon, researchers looked at how rapidly a seismic wave goes through the center, to the known sound speeds of the center. This told the scientists that carbon probably makes up a large portion of Earth's mass. A planet's carbon should exist in the correct extent to help life evolve. An inordinate measure of carbon would resemble Venus, traps warmth from the Sun, and keeping a temperature of around 880 degrees Fahrenheit. Inadequate carbon and Earth would look like Mars, an unwelcoming place unfit to help water-based life. Most models have the carbon and other life fundamental materials, like water and nitrogen going from the nebula cloud into rocky bodies. These are then conveyed to developing planets like Earth or Mars. But this avoids the key advance, during which the planetesimals lose quite a bit of their carbon, before they accumulate to the planets. The planet needs carbon to deal with its environment and grant life to exist. Over the historical backdrop of our cosmic system alone, planets actually like Earth or a lot bigger are collected ordinarily around stars like the Sun. Researchers are expanding this work to take a gander at carbon loss, in planetary frameworks, comprehensively. The study could unravel the origin of carbon and life.